Hey everyone, welcome back to Bettina Plays Games. This is a mini episode of To The Moon. I think this is the holiday special for Sigmund Corp, and that was a long introduction, but uh, now that the game is paused, I just wanted to take a moment and say welcome. I hope you're enjoying this so far. I think this is going to be the Christmas party that they made reference to in the game near the end. So now Dr. Watts is saying, hey, Eva. Come to my office. I've got something. Neil, where are you? The meeting started an hour ago. What? And he got water on his head. <laughs> and he's drenched. Wait, there's no meeting today. Yeah, and I'm not dumb. Twice in one day, really. Besides, that's actually dangerous. What if it hits my head without tipping over? But you still made it hit my head! That's different. Yours is pretty thick. Nah. Well, I still got you once. Excuse me for giving you a chance to even the scores. Well, I guess she did. But seriously, drop by. I actually do have something to show you. Oh. Just... Give me a few first. You gonna go say hi to them at the party downstairs? Maybe later. Grab me a drink if you can. If you go. Okay, now we're controlling Eva. Nice. I'm gonna take one ear out because it's a little loud for me. So, can I actually visit these other doors or interact with them? Let's see. This is the office of Dr. Logan Boswell. This is Robert Lynn and Roxanne Winters. This is Neil Watts, and this is probably my office, yes. And I don't know what those are. Those are lights, I guess. What are these? Huh. I wonder what's outside. Okay, well, there are other offices. Lisa Vasquez, Willis McMillan. And not uh, Macmillan. I wonder if they're married or siblings. Eddie Doyle. Oh, I guess none of them are glowing now since I know I've read them. Are they locked? I just want to check. Yeah, they're locked. Okay, I'm not gonna bother. My job is to go downstairs. Wait, this is the bathroom. Okay. Can I go to the bathroom? Stalls. Okay, well, maybe I should check the doors, or maybe there were stairs. Oh, yeah, there's an elevator here. Here we go. Figured it out. So this is a mini episode. As you can see, when I uh, started up to the moon, uh, it had two options. So this is going to be the first of the two mini episodes, and I'm not sure what that means, but we'll see how long this goes. So, let's see over here. Oh, my phone. Who is this? What? I just remembered. Could you also give me some cake with that drink? How do you know there'd be cake? There's always cake, and I want it. Well, pick one. I'm not your waitress. Hey, so which is it? Wait, what? Uh, Neil? I'm thinking! Why- why is it that music? Look, I gotta go. I'll call you back. Oh, something mysterious is happening. Oh! That's Winters. Oh, hey, Eva! Roxy? You alright? Huh? Oh. Um, well, we went outside to get something from the car, and... Oh, uh, they were throwing tomatoes at them. Well, you know. Them again, huh? Well, it is that time of the year. Look, don't tell the others, okay? I don't want everyone to be all tensed up about it. Mm, maybe it'll be all cleared up by the time everyone leaves. I hope so. 
Come on, let's go see what the others are up to. Mm hmm I like their character designs. Why the creepy music now? Huh, nice. I like how they walk. On a holiday party. Oh. I thought a cup that woman over there looked like an alien with her the sticks in her hair, but I guess not. It's just the same color as her skin, that's all. Oh, okay. So we got lots of people to interact with. It's a party. Let's see. What is there? I just wanna see how many things I can click on. Oh, okay. I'm here now. Look, I know it's hard to not think about it, but worrying doesn't fix anything. I know, but what was your last patient's wish? Huh? Oh, well, she wished to see the world. And did she? Yeah, we took her all over. I even caught glimpses of places that I haven't been to. She was so happy. It sounds like she would have really appreciated what you did for her. a lot of people, Roxy. I'm sure if they could speak to you, they'd all tell you. What's out there right now doesn't change that. I guess so. I do feel better thinking of that. Thanks, Eva. It's the holidays. Don't let it ruin the mood. Like, thinking about this alternate reality where people can go into old people's heads and fix their lives so they can achieve their dreams and die happy. I guess there are protesters who are against the idea for whatever reason, but I don't know. It's an interesting world building, I guess. I want to talk to all these people. They seem nice. This is... Hey, Willis, looks like Logan's pulling a move on your girl over there. Wait, what? Shh, she ain't going anywhere. Oh, I don't know, Willis. Logan does sing like an angel. Ah, so they're married. I do? Yeah, Willis, and I heard he's an exquisite dancer, too. I am? Well, I got three strands of hair on my head, and each one of them is willing to fight him in the parking lot. <laughs> Okay, this is getting too weird for me. <laughs> Aw, they're just playing around with you young folk. Hey, Eva. Hey, how did that last mission go? I heard you guys ran into some complications. It was fine. Bureaucracy just got in the way. But I'm trying to forget about work now. There's enough of that to go around later. I think the text goes a little slowly compared to the Moon. Tama and I were discussing our tastes in early Baroque paintings. They're all good. Yes, yes they are. <laughs> Interesting. Eva, my dear. Good afternoon, Tama. You know, you never responded to that email I sent you about my nephew. I attached a photo of him and everything. Oh, is she trying to set Eva up? Uh, thanks, but I'm just not looking. Oh. It's that boy Neil, isn't it? What? No. I like to keep my personal and professional life separate. Wow, then that's just one more reason why my nephew is perfect for you. Uh... You two are gonna be so happy together! Uh, yeah. I'll think about it. You know what bugs me, Lisa? We can alter memories, yet I can neither make my hair as buoyant as Logan's nor as silky as yours. Yeah, it's a tragedy. Nice hat. <laughs> I'm not really sure what to do here, Eva. Since we've a full house today, Eddie was allowed to drink, but now he won't stop talking. 
maybe he just needs someone to listen. Yeah, that's what I fear the most. Okay, well, I guess we've talked to everybody. I guess I can get a little cake. Wait, is there anything to click on in here? Those don't light up. Thanks for covering my double call yesterday, Willis. I heard it went well. Heh. <laughs> Not much I haven't seen at this point. It's been a hectic season, though. Don't you think you could use some, you know, break? Time? Oh, no, wait. That was Eva. Don't you think you could use some, you know, break? Time, too. Don't you worry about us. We've still got some kicks left in our old bones. Besides, some patients prefer us having practitioners with more life experience. Just be sure to take care, Willis. You've your limits, too. Eva, I'm peace of mind knowing... Eva, I've peace of mind knowing that when the day comes, our fate will be in your hands. Hey, don't be so dark. Hmm. That is interesting. Does she say anything else? Go have a good time, Eva. You too. Why are you just standing there? Just resting my eyes, that's all. Uh -huh. I wonder if that's all he says. Okay, go have a good time. Nice. So that's all the dialogue. Let me talk to them again. Is Neil cocooning himself in his office again? I think that's the right word for it. Man, if you can talk Man, if you can take Eddie off my hands, I'd owe you one. Hmm. Okay, so I guess you said that. I wish I had hair so buoyant that wearing a hat would make it a concealed weapon. Keep dreaming, Eddie. I wish I had hair so shiny that to gaze upon it would be prohibited by law. Aim for the sky, man! I wish I had hair so cool the 80s would ask me to return it. I don't think your fields can grow that kind of corn. I like that expression, that's funny. I wish I had hair so professional that you could put it in a suit and be mistaken for a CEO. What's wrong with Eddie? He had half a beer. <laughs> I wish I had hair so lush that everybody would have to blush. Preach it, brother. I wish I had hair so fair that people just couldn't help but stare. Oh, he's becoming a poet. Does he know it? Mm-hmm. I wish I had hair so beautifully rare that people would be in awe everywhere. You ever read Snow White? I wish I had hair so silky that a road would be built so people could trade it throughout Asia! Silk Road. Get it? Your head's not a garden, man. How many of these does he have? I wish I had hair so smooth that I could rinse and then not repeat. Amen. I wish I had a hair so mighty that the lion would sleep here tonight. What? A bit straining on the neck, but that does sound kind of cuddly. I wish I had hair so revolutionary that it would be elected. Uh-huh. How many of, there are, of these are there? I wish I had hair so heavenly soft that angels would sing whenever I removed my hat. Mmm. Not much you can say to that except, yep, yep. I wish I had hair so majestic horse trainers would try to tame it. Um, what? Yet I wish I had hair so wild that it could not be tamed despite their efforts. She's just stopped. Lisa Vasquez just stopped trying. I wish I had hair so thick people would get lost from the sight of it. I wish I had hair... Head, I wish I had head so hair, but such wow. <laughs> He made a meme reference. Oh my god. Okay, man. I think you should probably stop. <laughs> oh my 
god, that's so funny. I win. No. No, you don't. No. No, you don't. We reached the end. They couldn't top the meme reference. Such doge, much wow. Oh my god, I love it. Let me know if you ever change your mind about my nephew, dear. He's a catch. Okay. Is that drink alcoholic? I've no clue. Oh ho ho! <laughs> you should have seen Willis when he was young. What a stud! <laughs> okay, so that's that's all her dialogue. I'm glad about that. Where's Neil? In his office. I don't really know what he's up to. As per usual, I see. Relax a little, Eva. You've earned it. Okay, so that's all he has to say. I wonder if Winters has anything more to say. I just love the feeling of crunchy snow under your feet. It's like puffing bubble wraps for your boots. Oh, yes. I can't wait for the next big snowfall. I, I understand that feeling now, since a few months ago I went uh, on a ski vacation with my boyfriend. It is so satisfying walking in snow. Being a Floridian, it's just so rare that you get that feeling, and that was the first time I ever had that, and skiing was so much fun. But yeah, it's like bubble wrap for your boots. I agree. Why is Neil not here? He's the only one who's missing. Oh, except for him. Oh, that was her friend, who was also out there. Hmm. Dr. Robert Lynn. Don't go out right now, Eva. I know, Roxy told me. Those persistent buggers. Looks like they're there, they're there to stay. Be careful out there, Eva. Okay, some of them ain't got the manners. Did you get everything we needed? Yeah. Hmm. Are you okay, Rob? I'm fine. Be careful out there, Eva. Okay, so there's not much to say. Don't tell the others, Eva. Maybe they'll disperse. I know. Fingers crossed. She doesn't know what to say. Some of them ain't got the manners. We'll wait them out. Oh! Okay, we've got a phone call. Yeah? It's ready, Eva. Come over when you can. Um, what's ready? Uh, okay. Should I get some cake? Or a drink? I don't know. Do they have anything more to say? Nope. 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 Okay, I'm gonna assume everyone's done with their dialogue. But this was a fun little party! Thanks, guys! Okay, let's take the elevator. Okay. Take it all back up to the office. I hope he's not going to try and trick me with the water. <laughs> okay, guys. Learned his lesson. Shut the door. Er, uh, why? Because I'm supposed to be using this computer for work, remember? If Rob saw, he'd be all like, Slacking off again, Neil! Durr! Okay, but he's down at the party, so he's not going to be seeing you. What is that? Here, have my seat. Uh, okay. What is this? Oh, the rabbit! Remember that? Please tell me you folded it yourself. Lighten up, there were hundreds of them. Besides, it's not like Lily and the kids have any use for them anyhow. And what good is it to you? Jump-starting your memory, for one. Now, launch that program! I don't know if I want to. Aw, oh, come on, I worked hard on it! Um, okay, so this is after the events of the 
to the moon thing. What is this? A game by Neil Watts. Press enter to start. Oh, this is cute. Um, what? Ta-da! This is just plainly disrespectful. Hey, now, video games are an art form. They passed the laws decades ago. Yeah, but this might make them revoke it. Sticks and stones, Eva. You haven't even played it yet. Go on, try it. Somehow I doubt that Neil Watts' version of To the Moon is going to be a little lesser than the actual To the Moon. But, hey, let's not judge ahead of time. Let's actually experience it. Oh my god. <gasps> got hearts. Um, was that us hitting a tree? Okay. okay. We found an umbrella. Um. Hmm. Huh. Okay, so that unlocks a thing. Interesting. It's the lighthouse. Cool. Wait. Eva? Oh, it's an Eva zombie. Zombieva. <laughs> Looks familiar. <sighs> okay. Um, as long as she doesn't attack me. Okay. Got that. Is that an extra heart? Hmm. I guess that's river. Hmm. Nothing there. Let's see. Go this way. Oh, gotta avoid the zombies. Ah. What's that? Ah. Interesting. What kind? I don't know who that is. Guess I didn't really need that. Okay. Level is opened up. Okay. Just follow the Evas. Okay. Okay, either way, I'm there. with the pickles, I think. I think we go this way. Going up. Oh, what are those? Um, what? Are they pickles? Are they pickled olives? Ah. I lost a life. Huh? Okay. There, I got a heart back. That wasn't too bad. I wonder what that's supposed to be a reference to. But, um, gotta avoid the pickled olives. I like that a lot. Um, okay. This game is pe it's pretty straightforward, gotta say. This is entertaining as hell, though. Um, here's the rabbit. Let's see. Ow. Need to get another life. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Okay, that was a bit complicated. Could I have gone that way? Maybe, but... Ah! I'm running out of lives! Okay. I made it! Another life. Give that to him. And now I'm on my way! I need to get two more hearts, I guess. Oh. Heh. <laughs> I 
I used to make games like this when I was your age. Wait. Oh no! They're all here! What the- How cute! Is that floating head character you, Neil? How long have you guys been standing there? Seems like you've been slacking off again. Man, I told you he'd say that. <laughs> Get out of my office, you guys. This is my private space. Shoo, shoo. <laughs> oh, he's embarrassed. I was just getting into it. See, Eva, this is exactly what happens when you leave the door open. I might as well go stretch my legs. Just realized you didn't get me a drink. You can keep on playing, though. <laughs> ah, good. I want to finish this. Um, okay. Yeah, I mean, I didn't have the option to get you a drink or cake, so sorry. Okay. Gotta watch. Oh, those are corrupted memories. There you are. There's a book. that they see the stars. Aww. There's Little River. She gets it! There's the moon, and it's a rabbit constellation. There's the head, and the feet, and the moon is Big Belly. This is a really sweet tribute. This isn't disrespectful at all of the Johnny's memories. Oh, what? Eh. What's going on? Oh no, Zombiva! What? Who are they? Are they just Eva with different colored hair? Ah, uh, what do I do? What? Uh, I'm tired. Why am I the villain in the story? Oh, I want to know how it ends. Dang it. I like the animation in this. It's a little more involved than in To the Moon, I think. And the sound effects. Hey, Eva, did you... Where'd she go? Hmm. Hmm. I guess I can't check what kind of progress she made. Ah, she must have gone to her office. Diary. Today I... Ooh, this is gonna be good. I'm reading her diary. Dear Diary, today I was watering my plants, and I thought, hey, it's actually been a very pleasant week. Fifteen minutes later, Neil pranked me and splashed water all over my head with a bucket on his door. I'm going to get him back. Maybe not today. Maybe not tomorrow. But someday, and it's going to be with the vengeance and fury of a thousand suns. Eva R. Second thought, maybe I'll leave it. Yeah. Um, well, let's see. Can't really snoop much in her office. But, um, maybe. There's something else. They're locked. Maybe 
I'll go down to the party after all. Shouldn't he be back with a drink? Okay. Let's see. That's the only other place I can think of to go. There we are. Party looks a little different. Hey, Logan. Heard you were playing some game in your office again, huh? Rumors, clearly. Where did the others go? Willis and Taima left for home, but I don't really know where Robert went. I'm surprised nobody here got called today. It was nice to have a peaceful gathering. Eh, we've already delayed the party because Lisa and Eddie got called in last week. And yet you still don't come down to mingle with us. Tisk tisk. This cake sure wasn't well received today. I'll have to bake a better one next time. I'll have a piece, but right now I need to find Eva. Huh? I haven't seen her. Maybe I put in too much fish. You don't put fish in cake? Gross! Yeah. Well, I mean, even if you can put fish in a cake, I wouldn't eat it. Lisa Vasquez? And then you were all like, Feel my hair! Feel it! Man, I'm never drinking more than a shot of beer again. <laughs> but seriously, I made some of them my ringtone. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. I wish I could have been there. I mean, I was, but Neil wasn't. Ugh, sorry about earlier. Eh? What happened earlier? You weren't there? Good. At least someone didn't see. My head's still dizzy. It almost makes me want to take off my hat. But then... My head's still dizzy, okay? Yeah. Psst, Neil! Um, yes? Are you looking for Eva? Yeah, how'd you know? I just saw her down the hall looking upset. Wait, why is that assumed to be my fault? Well, when I look at your face, I get the feeling that you'd piss me off a lot if you were my partner. But I mean that in the nicest way. In what way could that possibly be nice? Never mind. Look, thanks for the info. I'll go check upstairs. So, she's still somewhere upstairs, eh? Just seeing. Okay, that's nothing to click on. Just seeing if there's any more dialogue. You can use the elevator and take a right. Dudette, I've worked it here for years. What was that thing she was playing earlier? My masterpiece, that's what. Okay, that's all her dialogue. I love clicking on all the dialogue. Okay, let's go back upstairs, even though I was just there. Let's see. Oh. Is that different? I don't know. Hmm. Oh. Is there? This is new. Oh, it's the music. What is it? Eva? Are you upset? Hey! I like the tiny micro-expressions on the sprites. You didn't finish the game. I've played enough of it. Don't tell me you're upset about the zombie buzz. You made them yourself, don't you remember? And it was clearly a joke, sheesh. I'd ask when you'd become so uptight, but, you know. Come over here, Neil. Are you gonna punch me? <laughs> he knows her well. I've been practicing my Karakwan Chun, you know. I don't know where that's from. I'm telling you, my hands are like lightning. Even I can't contain my moves. <laughs> Cute. Guess he's a scientist who ha watches too much anime. What are they looking at? Oh. Whoa. Records show up, huh? Roxy say said 
Roxy said they've been gathering since morning. That's quite some dedication for no pay. When I signed up for this job, I thought it'd be respectable, fulfilling dreams and all. But those who thank us are the dead, and those who support us are the dying. You might not like how I do things, but I do them for the patient's sake. And more often than I'd like, for yours, to save your sorry ass from getting fired. Yeah, good job with that. It's a feat. Well, at least he appreciates it. Do you think they're right? Hmm? All these people out there, they're all standing for what they think is right. Gee, I sure hope not. But hey, everybody has their beliefs. There are a lot of them, but don't forget that there are a lot of people with us too. Remember Lily? They aren't as outspoken because they're... Because those who are content rarely find the need to bother. But we have to remember that they're out there, and remember each patient we've once visited. Remember how hard we tried, and how they left this world with a smile in the place of a frown. Sometimes that fleeting moment of shared happiness is all it takes to make it all worth it. Are you drunk, Neil? Hey, I'm just recycling Rob's BS here. Give me a break. But look, if what you're asking me whether what we do matters... I guess it does, for that brief fraction of a second before they pass on. Is that enough for you? Sometimes I don't really know. How about you? Are you really happy doing this? Hey, I'm just happy that we make a lot of dough. Don't know about you, but I'm totally ballin'. <laughs> At the grocery, I'm all like, Heck yeah, I'll shell out five cents for a plastic bag. Here's a quarter! <laughs> That's how I roll. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, he's so funny. You know, that game you made of it, it wasn't all terrible. I'm listening. I mean, the graphics are antique and the game's a pushover, but... Er... I'm, I'm surprised you still remember all that Johnny and River stuff. Yeah, sorry about the zombievas. But hey, you should have really played till the end! All the zombievas rally together and become the heroes to save the day! Aw, spoilers! Really? Totally! And they're like, fireworks and pom-poms and all the Johnnies and Rivers chant your name! Hmm, I guess I should go finish it then. No, no, oh, actually, let's not be hasty! That doesn't happen in the game, I expect. The game's not going anywhere. You can go finish it in, uh, one, no, two weeks. Yeah, that should be enough time. Oh, um, excuse me, I need to take this. Hello? Thanks for the discount, but we're not looking for premium snow plowing service right now. You should encode your number. That'll block most of the telemarketers. Just kidding, we're actually being drafted by a patient in critical condition. Wait, what? Understood, we'll be right over. Are you serious? Yeah, come on, we can't afford to be late. You can't just joke around about these things. You're serious? Neil? Ugh. Now I can't tell if he's joking. If he has a, another prank water bucket for me. I wonder what everyone's point of view is, though. Like, why are they picketing? Hmm. That's a lot of people. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven people in a row. But that was really cute. I've never seen something like this before, and I was really amused. <laughs> Just from the dialogue of that party with all those hair remarks and the little mini game that was adorable and very heartfelt, I think. They, 
the people making this game really put a lot of heart into it, I'm sure. Eddie's drunk dialogues. Oh, they were submitted. That's awesome. <laughs> I wonder who came up with the Doge one. There was Dev Feedback. Special thanks to Freebird Games and Super Shiki. This was a Freebird Games production. That was really funny. Download this mini-sode's bonus tracks for free. Google a bird story. Huh, I wonder if I should play that. But that was really fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will play episode, mini episode two in a little bit. But until then, thank you for watching. Stay determined and see you guys next time. Bettina out.